Welcome back everybody, I'm Giles and this is Home Theater Fanatics. Today, we're gonna install this SSD in this Hi-Fi Rose RS150. So this is a quick educational video that shows you that yes, you can actually install your own SSD in this device um, and you don't need to be scared because this thing costs about $8 million. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna go ahead and quickly run through this. Now, the access for this SSD is on the bottom. Oh my God, this thing is heavy, heavy, oh, super heavy, oh, super heavy. And this is the magical hatch where the SSD is gonna go. It's got two screws and an arrow that says open this way. One thing I wanna point out is uh, if you look at the bottom of the feet, they all say rows, so they're branded and they're all aligned correctly, um, it's really, really cool. Um, the, the detail on this unit is absolutely stupendous. Now let's see if this little electric screwdriver is gonna do what we need it to do. Ooh, I think it will barely do it. And it looks like these screws might be captured. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Okay, they're coming out all the way. This one. A little bit tighter. All right. And there we go. That's, uh, that's the whole deal. Now, one thing to think about. So there's nowhere to screw this in and attach it, right? So my assumption is that we're gonna get enough support off the bottom of this plate. So this is gonna be in like this. I mean, let's check. Yeah, should be in like this. This plate will be this way. So this is gonna fit in just like that. And that's gonna give you the support that you need without having to screw this thing in anywhere. Okay, now to install this, you, you wanna make sure that you have your power and your data aligned correctly. It's gonna be like this. Then you'll take your tray, which will sit this way, and put these together. Then you will drop it in and then slide it in and that should get you connected. And two screws and we're done. Now let's fire this bad boy up and see what happens. Now you can see that it has detected new internal storage. That's awesome. Now my guess is that this drive that I installed actually has two different partitions on it. So it's seeing both of the partitions, which is kind of cool. Now if I scan DB, it shouldn't find anything because I don't think I have any data there it would be able to recognize. As you can see, it's scanning media now, attempting to find something that doesn't exist on the, uh, the storage. Now, we're gonna format the SSD. Yes, I do want to do that. Formatting is in progress. And now we can see it as storage rose disk. And we are done for installation. That's all there is to it, to install and get your storage ready so that you can rip using the Hi-Fi Rose to internal storage. Um, the next video that we're gonna do once I get my hands on one of the Hi-Fi Rose CD players, or transports really, it's a USB attached transport, we will go through the CD ripping process and see how you can rip your discs to your Hi-Fi Rose and play back your music discless, which is awesome. Thanks for watching so much. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.